Actually, I, I saw another random fact the other day. Um, so the genius uh, was contracted with WCW, but never ever made an appearance ever huh. for six years and got paid. Holy shit! Yeah, that guy had the best job ever. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> like, and that? he was yeah. making that ten money, so he was exactly. making good. Money. Damn, I'm just like, what kind of shit is this? And because like by the end of WCW, they had well over like 260 something wrestlers signed wow. and contracted, and they would get flown to uh, TV tapings, get paid, and not do a fucking thing. Jesus Christ! So. God bless you, WCW. I wasted my nitro parties on people that I wanted to see get booked. <laughs> that were there, that were getting paid, yep. and didn't do shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I've, I'm just gonna throw one out, I guess, because everything that I'm coming up with is kind of unique. Mm -hmm. um, I know we were discussing at one point, you know, what if Owen wouldn't have had his demise mm -hmm. and everything. And I know that you're not supposed to talk about him, but what? If the Benoit situation would have went differently and he would still be around. Wow, that match, I mm. think, would have been great. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, we got to see Chris and Brett, mm -hmm. but... Uh, you didn't get to see Benoit and Punk. No. No, I'm sure that, didn't. Fuck. <laughs> but, I mean, if, you know, if he would have stuck around and not killed his entire family... I still don't think he did entire. I still don't think he did Theoretically. It. Yeah, yeah, I still think I believe it was Kevin Sullivan. I don't yeah, give a shit. I think, I That's my think story. I'm sticking to it. Fuck you. Yep. Fight me. That's serious. Damn, that was, that was look, at, look at some of the guys that, that are working now that he could have, or oh, yeah. were working around that time, or coming into the company around that time. Because right. do you think he would have still been able to go at the rate that he was going now? Who? Oh, no. Now? Chris. Chris. Chris? Oh, okay. We went off to Chris. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Maybe not so much. Yeah, I mean, because, yeah, I think, like, by, what, he, he passed away in 07? Yes. Uh, yeah, because Eddie was an 05. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think by now he would have been retired, honestly. Because he, he wouldn't be going that pace. How long do you think he would have lasted until he were, probably would have retired? I think he would have went to like 15. Okay. By honestly. 15, any guys that uh, that were on the roster then, who do you think he would have had some... <laughs> Fucking Daniel Bryan. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. That's like... Could you, imagine a, could you imagine if he would have came in a little bit sooner, could you imagine a uh, Benoit and Styles match? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least we got, you know, Styles and... Uh, you probably could have seen a shitty Benoit and Angle rematch. Yeah, well, you know what? <clears throat> like, even... Of course, would Benoit even stayed with WWE? Yeah, definitely. I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. You I think know. he jumped shit from WCW to the to the E, so he I mean... He could have... Honestly, I could have seen him leaving and going to Japan for a while. I could have seen him retiring well, in Japan, honestly. Yeah. Even yeah. though, even if he would have jumped to Japan, you could have still seen the Styles. Benoit exactly. Yep. True, true. That's what I was thinking. You could have seen another Benoit Jericho match. Mm -hmm. Yep. Always damn good matches. Let's talk about, though, if Owen had it passed, though. Okay. Because right. look at all the, the people. Like, how long do we think he would have lasted till? Because, like. Oh, man. See, he was in 99, so I think. Probably 2010. Yeah, I that's what I was thinking. I, I think he could have lasted until then. Oh, yeah. 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 And just look at all the matches he could have had. Because honestly, out of the hearts, I think Owen was the best. Absolutely. I agree. Because he never reached that full potential that people would allow him to. Right. Do you think he would have been world champ? Yeah. Think so? Actually, do I do. Do you think they would have pushed him? Yeah. I think honestly. If he would have got out of that blue blazer fucking gimmick, though. Yeah. Right, right. This is how I see it would have gone, is I would have seen, like, he wouldn't have gotten a, like, a real world title reign until the the draft happened and then he got put on SmackDown and then, you know, like during that time that Heyman was in control, I could have seen Owen thriving during that time period. Yeah. And think we would have got Owen and Angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would have been fucking money oh, yeah. as hell. But Owen and Eddie. Ooh, man. Just imagine the fucking I promos. did not even, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh, and Eddie would have been great. Yeah, would Viva have. La Nugget. That would have been yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> Yeah, I would. Because, I mean, you know, you got the Guerrero family, the Hart family. That you would have had Owen and Jericho? Yeah. Yep. Damn. Yeah, a lot of, lot of great possibilities. Woo. Going back to Eddie. What's about if he would have passed? Oh, man. Oh, man, if Eddie would have passed, you'd get another world title reign. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was getting, he was close to it. Because, I mean, I, I liked what they were trying to do when, uh, obviously, at the time when he passed, you know, he did that match with Kennedy. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought that was good I was chemistry there. there. Were you real? Yeah. 
Nice. Nice. I did not know that. Yeah, actually, fun little fact. Uh, I sat in his lowrider that he used that night, the last lowrider he sat in. Oh, oh no Because shit. Uh, we got these cheap fucking parking spots like six, seven blocks down. We actually parked where the WWE trailers were parked. Oh, and wow. so the lowrider that he rented that night was getting loaded up right then and there. I was like, oh, hey. Uh, that's Because, like, they just rented one from wherever they were at. Right. And I was like, hey, uh, can I can I get a picture in it? And they're like, yeah, sure. So, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I have a little five by seven of it. So that's nice. Nice. So I Church say, day. yeah, yeah, definitely. So I kind of say before we get to mine. Speaking of you, something randomly popped into my head. Why don't you give us a little uh, pop update? Well, uh, I'm getting pretty close to seven hundred. I'm at six eighty two. Six eighty two. Yeah, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> there we go. We're trying to get it. So uh, you got some pops you want to either get rid of or uh, possibly maybe some pops like. What's some of the ones you're actually searching for? Or do you have any that you're searching for? Uh, yeah, there is. I, well, one main set I, I need right now is the uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Set. Oh, man. I've got, I've got the one already, but that was because it was a convention exclusive. Like, well, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, I'm not the biggest those. clown fan, but if you want to help Blaine Black yeah. out well, and you want to help his pop collection grow and hit that 700, we could use your help. Hit up the Stuff and Things fan page on Facebook, message us, and we'll tell you where you can get in contact with Blaine. Yeah, that'd be great. He doesn't like the Facebook anymore. No. No. <laughs> he likes the fan page, but he doesn't yeah, like the it. Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck the Facebook. Yeah. I wasn't going to go there. Thank you. For well, that. <laughs> he did. Yeah. So, uh, All right, going to your third. Okay, going into my third. And I think one of the biggest what-ifs ever, in my independent professional opinion. But what do you think, guys? If WCW would have won the Monday Night Wars, uh, that's hard to imagine because, like, yeah. especially whenever you see WCW at the, the at, at the end, yeah. Because yeah. where I'm going with this, if they would have won, if they would have won the Monday Night Wars, and because the ratings started taking a shit after you know Austin started coming up and doing all that stuff and everything, but we're not talking like it wouldn't have got to that shitty Russo phase. I think if they would have won it, it would have had been '98. Yeah, like that would have yeah, been the exactly. time period. That they had to have won it. Uh, honestly, I could see this happening. If they would have won it and actually bought WWE, I think they would have kept WWE just because Ted Turner wanted money. Oh, exactly. He would probably have kept it and kept if it. You're a, if you're a million or billionaire or everything, whatever the hell he was, yeah. what do you want more of? More money. Which I think that's where Vince fucked <clears> up. <throat> Instead of consolidating WCW, he should have just left it its own entity. It could have. That would have made more money off of that. Just because of that library of stuff that they had had, now, and the relations and the relationships they had with New Japan and everything, so he missed a boat on that. Now here's a good one. Now if if WCW would have bought WWF at the time, F, right? Um, you know there was a lot of people when WWF bought WCW. There was a lot of WCW workers that did not mm. want to go to WWF. Mm -hmm. What workers that worked for WWF at that time do you think would not have made the jump? To WCW would have went elsewhere. Uh, Taker. Yeah, that, that's, that's about, yeah. Taker, that'd have been my number one. What about Michael? Well, Michael's would. He was gone. Yeah, he was still yeah. gone yeah. by that time. I would, uh, honestly, like, Taker I could see it? Austin. Hunter? Oh. Hunter mm. had a bad reaction with WCW last well, time. Well, I was going to say, you got to think he originally was there, so yeah. to come back and kind of, like, give There was a, a lot of people who had a sour taste for WCW. Like Austin. Right. Like I mean, Austin, Austin wouldn't have gone. Austin, Hunter, Taker, uh, pretty much... How many you can name so many people that Jericho would have went back? Uh, I don't I, know. I, I say no. He just went to Japan. I say no. He would either went to Japan or Fozzie would have got a very early start. Oh, they were already around. Yeah, they were around they've there. been around since 2000. Well, my bad. But yeah. still, <laughs> they would have got <laughs> maybe a couple month early jump start. <laughs> yeah, because don't you? Because uh, so, fun little thing uh, Fozzie played at uh, like whenever they had that. WWF in New York uh, restaurant. Yeah, he played yeah. there because he had the alter ego Moon Goose McQueen. Moon Go <laughs> Is it like, Mongoose? No, it's Moon Goose. I thought it was Mongoose. No, nah, it's Moon Goose. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do because I've got I've got one of the old albums. It's literally oh, okay. it doesn't well, say Chris Jericho on it. Right. It says Moon Goose McQueen. Moon Goose. I, thought, I would look it up on my Wi-Fi. But yeah, like <laughs> or comment, send a comment, <laughs> tell, us, tell us if Blaine is wrong or not, and if he's wrong, we take away a pop. <laughs> but <laughs> what happened is like the entire episode of I think it's Sunday Night Heat because they were like going back and forth, and like Jericho's at uh, the, the New world? York, yeah, the world, the yeah. world, yeah, and he's trying to find Moon Goose the entire time because it's an alter ego. Oh Jesus, yeah, it's great. <laughs> nice. 
see like even with that back then would have we would have would have we have gotten the run or not the run but the beginnings and the startings of like CM Punk mm. or do you think he would have got into the company over there called you know if you will just run it as WCW and he would just have been a normal jobber I yeah mean, he would have ended up in the cruiserweight division I think he would yeah. have stayed better off in ring of honor yeah yes yeah actually I I see <clears throat> honestly you know if WCW was still alive TNA would have never happened you know, a lot of things wouldn't have happened. No, because you can see so many similarities between WCW and especially their cruiserweight division to the early days of TNA yeah. and like the Impact division. And oh yeah, and like whenever you like or, Impact X X yeah. division, my bad. My bad. <laughs> especially whenever like Impact first started in 02, it essentially just felt like WCW a really lot. Did. You guys yeah. watch Impact lately? Yeah, Not lately. It's, it's kind of going. Nah. I like it. Honestly. I was about to say it's kind of going the way of the. Uh, the WCW. Uh, so, you know, so, some things, yeah, some things. <clears throat> I know you've got a big problem with Tessa Blanchard being the world champ, but... Shut up! Uh, Shut shit. the fuck up! Please! Uh, you knew it was going to happen Shut up! Just, no. No! no. What, why? Why, think, why? Why? That's the know, biggest I, what you if. Know, I honestly that's not even a what if. That's a why. The Sammy Callahan for it oh. is just kind of like, what the fuck? Add a boy to Sammy to doing jobs and being professional and doing... What he was asked to do, but fuck that. Now, uh, absolutely he, fuck that. To be <laughs> completely honest with you, I thought China would have won the world title. I'm surprised. I, yeah, I'm yeah, very honestly. surprised. Yeah, unfortunately, if surprised. the first woman would have ever won a world title, I think it she should have been her. Yeah, either that or uh, Awesome Kong. Nah, I wouldn't have seen that. Uh, I mean, like, maybe at point, I, I think no, maybe I in. So. She was in Japan there for a while. Wasn't yeah, she? Look, I look, think she probably should have. Wouldn't she have like Amazing Kong? Yeah, Amazing Kong over there. I don't think I would have gave it to her in Impact or TNA, but All right, if we're gonna I, do could, a I could have seen her. If we're, we're going to do a little shoot ski on this, no women should win a world title, a men's world title. Like, That's no offense, you've got your divisions, I get your equal rights and bullshit. You let Sammy Callahan legit be fucking Sammy Callahan, Tessa Blanchard wouldn't have walked out of that motherfucker. <laughs> My perfect. I just went cornet. Fuck. And Thank you, fuck lost, you, bye. We just lost 100 subscribers. <laughs> Hell pissed, now I got 60. <laughs> I have 166 so far, so we'll see. And now, uh, now he's uh, feuding with old man Ken. I think. Now you got it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which actually, you know, Ken Shamrock, like for being fucking old as shit, Dude, he's still ripped yeah. as hell. Yeah, and he can actually Fuck. like he can still work a pretty good match. Yep. So you know, good for him. So we we done doing this? Or are we going to do like one comedy? What if? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll Why shoot not? around with that. Let's we'll go start on. with you though. Ooh, fuck. Okay, this. Kind of a random, but uh, let's say the roles were reversed. Yeah, the Godfather, right? Okay. But it would not be Charles Wright. Mm -hmm. What if the Godfather would have been D'Lo Brown? Fuck yeah. I'd be down for that. Would it would have been the, different. I would have been down with the Browns. I fucking love D'Lo <laughs> Brown, so hell yeah. Yeah. Fucking love some D'Lo. I think some low down on some hoes. I think that would have been some bad. A sky high on the hoes and low down on them. <laughs> Either way, man. <laughs> But then he would have had to become, like, the good father or some shit. Well, no, because we have right to censor <laughs> for that bullshit. I, I know. know. <laughs> I almost thought you were going to say, what if the godfather would have been the rock? And that would have been... Oh, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I think he could have gave a lot more charisma to that character. Laying some smack down on some wow. <laughs> That's what would have happened. Ooh, man. I think, le I think weed would have been legal everywhere by then. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's my that's my what if. You know what? My wacky what if. There we go. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with a wild thing here. Uh, Mark Marrow? What, <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what if uh, Tank Abbott, you know, had oh, had become a main eventer? Mm. Maybe maybe he'd actually stab somebody. Okay, that I could see. I was going to say WCW would have been done a lot quicker. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, I sure would have. Although, you know what? What if he made a venom and he brought three count up with him because he loved him so much? Hmm. Again, WCW would have been done a whole lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no room so needed. I'm sorry, is there any Tank Abbott fan? Is there somebody out there that can sit there and say, you know what? I liked him. I mean, whenever he's with three count, it was comical. No, oh, like when he count. fought in UFC, sure. <laughs> yeah, in the early days of UFC. I, I don't even think I watched any of his UFC. They tried to stab a motherfucker at WCW. He sure did. 
It's not like get some get some lessons from Sid Vicious, you know, with him and Arn Anderson. Just saying. That's not a what if. That's a really that fucking happened. So what if what if we put Tank Abbott versus New Jack? What would happen? There? Holy shit! <laughs> you just ruined my what if. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. We're, we're gonna go straight into mine then. <laughs> what if WWF or WWE would have signed New Jack? God. Um, well, uh, <laughs> um, I think, who would he have feuded with? Uh, well, Man. first off, I think he would probably get a couple matches in, and then they'd terminate him. So he wouldn't. I don't even know if he'd get a couple matches in. New Jack and Foley. Actually, you know what? I think that would. I think I think they would have worked well because I mean, I, obviously Foley. You know, uh, would he's willing to work with anybody pretty much? So. Yeah, but, and he's not. willing to get hurt and shit. But he's yeah. willing, really, really willing and able to get fucking shanked right in the middle of the damn match. But also, I feel like it probably wouldn't have happened at WWF just because of the fact that they probably would have said, gave New Jack the ultimatum: "Hey, here you go. If you don't like this, go fuck yourself." Yeah, yeah, New much. Jack the fucking hardcore title. And yeah, yeah. Oh, ain't shit. nobody. Crash Holly wouldn't have rolled his ass up. No. <laughs> It'll roll him up and then come up bleeding. Like, what the, what the fuck happened? Like, oh, just imagine. Imagine. <laughs> God. Imagine this. Okay, the WCW, the shit WCW, and I'll say it like that because I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You're at your hardcore division where you had Hack, a.k.a. the Sandman. Dog yeah. out there barking our brains out. Yeah, um, you had, like, you know, Brian Nobbs, you had Screaming Norman Smiley. Yeah. Here's a fucking match for you. Screaming Norman Smiley in a triple threat hardcore match against Terry Funk and New Jack. Smiley would have came out victorious. He would have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he wears fucking sports equipment. <laughs> I mean, yeah, New Jack tries to stab him. Oh, I got football gear on. Fuck you. That's gonna, what would have happened. I was going to say because New Jack and Funk probably would have killed themselves and he just would have picked up the slack. One, two, yeah. three. No, well, what would have <laughs> No, it, this is what would probably happen if... If New Jack goes to stab him, you know, he has the protective gear, but he also had Ralphus at one point. Did he have Ralphus? Yep, he, he had Ralphus. Wow. Sure, okay. Well, just think about that. It, also, in that hardcore division at that time, you had Ming. Oh, fuck. Ming and New Jack? <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to Holy stab him in the forehead. He could have yeah. tried, but he going to fucking tongue and death grip yeah. your ass to death. He would have went he for keep it. shanking him, but guess what? Like, no effect. Or, that's Samoan, man. That's straight savage fucking He also Samoan. had fucking Bigelow there, too, in the hardcore division. Right. God. Bigelow and was in there's, like, Bigelow was in ECW when New Jack was there, wasn't he? Or did he yeah, he was, but uh, they never, they they never, never crossed paths. Right, right. There, here's actually a dream match of mine. Bam Bam Bigelow and uh, Umaga. Oh, shit. I will throw that out there. I think that would be... Well, you're for... never going to see that. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. unfortunately. But, like, think of the possibilities that match could have been. Like, both guys, like, in their prime or whatever. Two super heavyweights, athletic as fuck. Holy hell, that would have been amazing. So, this tail end of what if, followed by a dream match. So, Well, if, if we're going to get, like, a what if dream match... Yeah. Man. We, can, we can do dream matches on another show. We can, yeah, but this is true. the what if. Because, yeah, well, what unfortunately, if, my what guys if. I just named are both dead. Yeah. So, mm. why not? Throw what, out there. what if a uh, fully invader had happened in WWE? Like, okay. would we um, see Mankind or Cactus Jack? Personally, I'd like to see Mankind versus Vader because I think that would be... Did they have a match at one point? I don't think they did. I don't... No? Or I mean, they were in at the same time when he was were, Mankind, but, but I don't think they worked because no. it was like... They were bringing up Kane. Yeah, I thought they had. <clears throat> I thought they had a match or two when uh, Paul Bearer was managing uh, Mankind. I don't think so because Vader no, was no, pretty much always always heel at that point still right. because you know he was feuding with like Vader and Cornette was with him I believe. Right. So I don't think I I don't know I would just like to see like if they would still have the same intensity as what they had in WCW. Yeah. So. Yeah. There you go with that. Dig it. Oh, you're waiting for me to have a... Hey, go ahead. Throw it out there. That's fine. You know. Throw it out there. Throw it out there. All right. Um... Put the Jeopardy music in here. <laughs> Are we fucking done yet? <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> I hate Paul. <laughs> All right, man. 
All right, what if... There it is. What if we would have had Taz come in a little bit sooner from ECW and he would have worked with... Uh, let's say somebody like... Somebody like Taker. Poof! Poof! I don't think Whoa. that would have... Uh, you think that would have been well? <clears throat> that would have been the shortest... Uh, <laughs> Debut, and I'm not saying because Taz all right, is fucking all right, let's, short. Let's go a different route there. What if Taz would have worked Shamrock in his prime? Okay, okay. there we go. That's 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 right. better. Even yeah. though I have heard things about Taz from Terry or not Terry Funk, uh, from Tracy's mother's that I will not say right now. I'll tell you all later. But uh, I think it'd have been interesting. I think it'd been yeah. good. Actually, uh, if I would like to see Taz and Ownheart, I think that would have been entertaining. Taz okay. and Owen. Yeah. I think Owen would have bumped his ass off for him. Yeah, he would have. Because <clears throat> Owen was that guy. Yes, he could do his own stuff and make his own things look good because he was that damn good. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Hunter. Anyway, my bad. I'm not getting the job. Uh, but at the same time... <laughs> fuck, that's funny. I'm old as shit. Um, <laughs> see it with the gray and the beard. What? Fuck off. Kayfabe. Anyway. <clears throat> the Jeopardy comment, dickhead. <clears throat> yeah, you said thank you. Asshole. Your shit talk must be in the form of a question. Anyway, uh, yeah, I yeah. I think it would have been good for like what putting Cody Strong <laughs> dead. That's what it is. Anyway, Owen would have put him over like crazy, but at the end of it, uh, good good debut match possibly. It would have oh, been yeah. much yeah, like how it was at the Rumble when Taz debuted against Angle. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I would I could see that exact same match. <laughs> Didn't Jr. Oh, yeah. interfere in that one? No, no uh, not the uh, debut. One. It was him. It was uh, him and Taz. Lawler. Yeah, was exactly. Yeah, because he hit Didn't him. Didn't he hit the head with like jelly beans jar? or some shit? Yeah, it was like a candy jar. It's something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which the candy jar came into play uh, like twice actually. Because hmm. okay. uh, at WrestleMania 2000, somebody took it off the table and whap over the head. Huh. And the hardcore Schmaller's thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the finish. Hardcore, I think Hardcore Holly grabbed it and hit somebody over the head with it. I liked the I could have seen WrestleMania that. 17 Hardcore match better. Yeah, it is way better. I enjoyed it. Still my favorite WrestleMania. No, which was yep. 17? I have to remember. Uh, the It was Rock and Austin number two. Hardcore uh, match was Raven, Kane, and, and Big, Big Show. Show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Such an odd pairing for a Yeah, but it was so good. good. Huh. I thought I don't know why I thought Rhino was in there for some reason. No. He was he part was, of the TLC match. In yeah. the TLC match is where he debuted. Yeah. Right. Uh, it okay. was Rhino, Spike, Spike did a run in, and then Lita did a run in. Yeah. yeah. Lita fucking no, she nailed Spike Dudley with a chair. <clears throat> yeah. Sure did, and then peeled her shirt off and then got gored. Yeah. She also, didn't she take a spear later yeah, in the she match? Got, she got and she, she wrapped her, her head on, on the ladder. ladder. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yeah, right on the head. outside, she was checking on that. Boom yeah, edge. because wasn't it like so close to the ladder? Yeah, yeah, because there's a ladder laid down, right. and whenever she bumped, she whacked her head on it. Yeah, yeah, that was, I remember that was a nasty shit. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wasn't the worst thing she ate. Uh, oh. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> on that note, I think we're going to wrap this sucker yeah. up. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. If you have anything you would like to discuss, whether it be from the world of professional wrestling, nerdy stuff, Marvel Comics, we'll throw DC in there. They're comic yeah. books, too. Yeah. Horror, which we covered last week, which was, I'm told it was fun. Yeah, it was a long fun. episode, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, any of that kind of stuff, uh, just feel free to shoot us a message. Leave a comment on here. Subscribe, share. Yada yada, all that kind of good stuff. And until next time, this has been some stuff. And things. <laughs>